think it's a Dostoevsky quote. He said, perhaps it's beauty that will save the earth. The sound of the whales is something that can help us all just to feel this kind of community of beauty that we're part of. When I hear the whale and uh, respond with a cello, it's really just, uh, it's about the beauty of the sound. I know that there's some discussion, some mystery about what the whales are actually trying to convey with these extraordinary assortment of sounds that they make. But the other thing is to simply relate to it as beauty. Ah, whales. The thing that drew me to whales was I fell in love with whales. One would think of whales as a species which was perhaps so large that it was unaffected by anything that affects the ocean, and that would be wrong. Their breeding cycle is deeply affected by climate change. The effects on the females, the conditions which destroy her food source, causes her to not have a calf in a given year. <laughs> The whaling nations, Japan, Norway, Iceland, all exploit loopholes in the so-called moratorium which was created on whaling. It, wasn't, it was a zero quota. And all these countries are ignoring them for various reasons. They claim they're doing science, but it's just nonsense. And so what I've watched is the destruction of my life's work going on before my eyes, and it's a horrible thing to, to see. But you can't talk about it. Mainstream society doesn't want to hear about our sorrow for what is happening to life on Earth. That gets reduced right away to some personal pathology. What a deliverance to realize that that's not a private burden, but a shared experience with our brothers and sisters. That's what happens over and over again in the work that reconnects. As we speak the truth of our pain for the world, we discover our interconnectedness with each other.